Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, sorry about that. I apologize to uh, everyone on Patreon already. Uh, just, just trying to be, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of uh, family issues and then my back, um, trying to recover, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a, it's a, you know, being completely honest, it's a struggle. Especially with my weight, man. That's my biggest issue right now is my weight. But anyways, I wanted to get back to making videos because, you know, things are a little bit calmer now. Uh, I just started coming back, answering questions, hitting up people, trying to take projects on. It, it keeps me motivated. It keeps me moving. So that's where we're at right now. And um, I always enjoy doing the videos. They help a lot. So let's get back to the Hudson, okay? The good thing is while I was, uh, you know, AFK from, um, you know, YouTube and whatnot, um, this guy, I put a lot of rounds to him, okay? He's still alive. I worry about the uh, the valve reset. This guy right here. You can see the paint is still relatively on here. I did just clean them up. Um, I've been putting grease on here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm not going to put any more grease on it. I'm not going to baby it. Uh, I, I'd be lying if I said, oh, I I didn't baby it. I, I have babied it, okay? I've cleaned it, re-greased it. Um, you know, you can see there's only a little couple marks here. Other than that, uh, you know, threaded barrel is still good in here. It's it's a fun gun to shoot. It really is. Um, and judging by the views, the, uh, the the first video guy, I don't know how many, I think we've only done one or two. Um, I don't think a lot of people have really bought the Hudson, so uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to probably talk to everyone on Patreon and see what to do next. But what I want to talk about is what you should upgrade and what can be upgraded. The, the problem is, yes, this there are a lot of parts in here that are just proprietary. You, you can't use uh, a Glock hammer. The, the Glock does, the hammer looks like a Glock hammer, but it's not. It's completely it's different, a lot of different angles. Um, this thing is like a, a mixture of a Glock and a high capper had a baby because you see, I think you saw the takedown. It has a leaf spring, but it's missing the whole um, left side, which doesn't need because it's not a, a grip like the high cap. It doesn't, you don't need to push it in for safety. They have this part for that, and I, I took this out. This thing is annoying as hell. Uh, if you don't like it, take it out, guys. It's super easy to take out, knock out that pin, and there's a little spring, take it out. Um, you can use high cap a trigger, but key word is you gotta be skilled, okay? You would have to drill two holes, or maybe at least one hole right here. Uh, unfortunately, it's not, it's not a plug and play. The only thing that is plug and play is the inner barrel. Okay, you can see in here, this is a TNT APS um, X. This is the first gen, right? They're like on like a third gen right now. So they're really, this is ancient, but I just wanted to test it and try it out. So um, that's why I have this guy here. Toss this guy. That is the one thing. If you own the Hudson and you're watching this, do yourself a favor and just get rid of this damn barrel. This barrel is just gross. It's uh, this barrel is, isn't even straight. It's curved. There's some scratch on it. The crown is crap. The, the finish on here is crap. Okay. I mean, just look at that. Can you guys see? I, I don't know if it's in focus or not. My eyes don't work that well. And, uh, okay. I, I, I feel like you guys should be able to see that. This is, this is untouched. Okay, obviously I haven't cleaned it, but it's just replace it all right do yourself a favor the good news guys it drops in you can put in pdi you can put in nine ball you can put in crazy jet you can put in ra tech do not buy angel custom all right no angel custom if you watch this channel and you got angel custom your stuff get rid of that thing toss in the trash and go get your do yourself a favor if you need budget go buy ra tech maple leaf those are fair prices I was, those, when people were come to me and they got, I don't, you know, I usually do a lot of high-end builds, but if they need a budget build, I will, I will say, hey, Crazy Jet, RA Tech, or what I use as budget barrels, and even Nine Ball. Nine Ball barrels are somewhat uh, affordable, and it depends on the store, though. I've seen some stores sell it for, like, PDI prices when they shouldn't be, and I've seen some stores sell them at what they, you know, usually, like, $20, $30 range, and, or lower 20 So, Nine Ball, RA Tech, Maple Leaf, budget barrel, no Angel Customs, all right? This thing, 
don't just toss it. Literally just turn it around. My trash can's right behind me. Give me a second. Shit. Oh god, I missed. It's on the ground, but that's going in the trash. So that's the number one thing you guys should do with the Hudson EMG. And it doesn't require any modification. The only thing I want you guys to understand is when you take this apart, make sure you got the right screw and do it slowly. These mine stripped so easily, all right? Good thing is it takes the same screws from uh, like a TM hop up, we hop up, brass hop up, whatever you call it, it's the same you know types of threads. So if you strip them, don't worry, just replace them with those screws. Okay, uh, what else? That is like the, the the problem with the Hudson. I wanted to do like an upgrade video, like oh you can upgrade this and this. It's just the problem is that it's actually mostly going to be custom stuff. Like I have a couple ideas I want to do for this guy, um, but this is what you guys can do: one, inner barrel bucket, definitely replace it. Three, get up, just go buy the weed thread adapter. It's like five to ten bucks depending on what store you buy it. Just buy it. It, it, this gun looks awesome with uh, anything on the front, all right? And I've done a couple compensator. This is the one I'm printing out. Good news is I did I did put a pre-order for uh, Joseph Prusa's new uh, mini printer, 400 bucks, but um, it'll be much better than the printer I have, and that will change a lot. And then I'll probably use their his slicer as well. So that will be a, a nice upgrade, but that won't I won't be getting that printer for a while. But that's just more on the 3D printing stuff. Um, this one was just, I don't know what the hell process me. This one was dog ugly. I think I uploaded the Patreon, then I deleted it quickly. Uh, so this is definitely no go. But yeah, this is where I'm at. I'll probably keep on working until I get another one, but it's just a, it's a start. You know, it's a very, this, the Hudson gun is a fun gun to shoot. Let's reassemble it. I took it apart to put the inner barrel in here. It's no, it's a drop-in. No modification needed. So that's nice to um, to know. As for the blowback unit, this guy I'll 3D print. I told you I would do that, so that's gonna be next up. Um, since I'm feeling better, because you know, in order to 3D print, you guys have to, you know, you have to sit on a computer and you have to model all this stuff. So it takes time, and sitting on a chair isn't pleasant um, right now, currently. So, but this is what's gonna be next. Because this guy is heavy for his size, and I want to make this Hudson faster. Um, I, to be honest. If anyone knows or anyone's got any special connections, because I don't with this company, I don't have any special connections. If someone can get me, I want just the slide. I'll, I'll probably, I'm probably going to ask around my friends. I, I know I have some friends, but maybe one of you guys are, maybe works for there or something. I would like to just get a slide, and I, I kind of want to just, you know, mill it. You know, just mill some pockets out here, just you know, have a little fun with it. But at the same time. You know, I'm scared that it's gonna, um, you know, break or it's just no good. Cause I, I have a feeling these are just casted. Um, you know, I'm not super, you know, <laughs> sure that these guys will survive it. So that's the only thing. I, I, I want to find if I, if you could buy a slide like this by itself, just naked, and it was like, you know, a reasonable price, then I would buy a couple and just have fun and then mill out a couple of them for fun. If they're not reasonable, then no, I'm not gonna pay for them. I, I just don't, I don't know how much they're gonna want for these because we're at 72 grams, 72.2, that's with these front sight. Look, look, look at this guy, this guy's 9.5. So we're gonna knock off at least, you know, five plus just, you know, 3D printing and you wouldn't, you're gonna be, you won't be able to tell the difference. If I spray paint the, the ABS, You'll be it'll be fine. And the thing is, you can even do PA12 if you're insane about the huts. If you if you were like a fanatic, then yeah. Because look at this. This is PA12, just spray painted. Not even like you know uh, with the uh, the brush. This is literally spray paint out of can. If you're good at spray painting, you can make this stuff look like metal, no problem. I left the bottom alone just to show people what, you know what you can do with the comps. By the way, I know people are asking, I uploaded the comps, so if you have the Lancer kit, uh, I uploaded it to my Shapeway, so you guys can buy these now. Okay, so that is up there. I'll probably put that in the link, I don't know. I don't, we'll do that later, I'm not worried about that. Let's put this back together. 
So right now is, I, I guess it's more of a, what to put, you know, what to build for this, because in reality, the only thing you can do without modding this stuff is just integral. That's it. Everything else is, has to be, you know, modded or, yeah, it. Give me a second. We gotta get this guy. This guy keeps on pulling out, but I gotta put it in. Okay, this. Got it. I, I want to stack up on loading nozzles too. That's the only thing I haven't done. Like I've been testing the gun, but I haven't like researched. Okay, where can I buy um, extra parts? So that's the only thing I need to get on top of. And I'll probably post on here. What I'll probably do is reach out. I'll probably reach out to these guys and be like, hey, you know, what? Where can I buy loading nozzle? Or I'll check e-bike. See if I can just. I'll start researching where we can get parts. Because you you know what? This gun is fun to shoot. It feels good. I like it. It's cool looking. You know, it's it's just when you've been airsofting for so long, sometimes you just want to shoot something besides a high cap on a Glock. And I, I think that's what it really is for me. Is um, like I love the high cap, and I always tell everybody, the high cap is the king. All right, nobody can ever, no pistol can ever beat the um, the high cap. But, but we'll see about the new GHK Glock. I'm actually going to do a separate video on that. I rarely, I don't think I've ever done it on this channel, review a product, or not review, but talk about a product that isn't even out. But that actually has me excited, like I've never been for quite some time. I was excited for the Hudson to come out, and the FNX, because uh, someone someone was supposed to do the FNX like hundreds of years ago. Oh, Inokatsu, they were supposed to do it. If you've been airsofting quite some time, you'll know that Inokatsu tried to do a couple of uh, big boy pistols and stuff and they just never you know amounted to it and i think they kind of sold that design off and that's how cyber gun got the fnx but i was excited about the fnx hudson and the ghk glock we need that that is i'm hoping it's gonna be groundbreaking all right uh do we have everything and then i'll show you guys what the comp looks like on here and then uh we'll just uh uh dry fire it this in okay there we go okay now the other thing that I want to try is I want to try modifying the leaf spring I want to see if we can get this to be a nicer pull because right now I like it better without this stupid thing in here but um, I'm thinking about 3D printing trigger, so right now I want to do a trigger or modifying a high cap of trigger to fit in here, but then maybe like uh, just play around with it and flatten out because I kind of want a flat trigger. I feel like looking at this gun, I want a flat trigger. Okay, that's another thing. These things, I was I was hoping you could use 1911 grips, but you can't. But these are these wonky, weird sizes. It would have been, I, I, I wish they would have done 1911 style grips on here, but obviously that would have changed the profile. But that would have been, it's just so much cooler. We don't need these on. I'm always taking it apart anyways. Okay, um, let's do a chrono test, although it's not realistically good, guys. It's cold in here. We'll see what it is, but obviously it's not that cold compared to some other places. We're at 72 right now. I don't know how much gas is in here, but we will shoot straight ahead. This is the compensator that I have currently. Um, so work in progress, okay? Uh, that's just how I, I, I'll make a couple. I'm like, okay, I like this, I don't like this. Is this one on? See it now. I don't like this gap right here. And the the new 
there's two designs I have. This one is the first one I printed out. The, actually, the first one I'm gonna be killed. That one was just atrocious. This one I think is cool looking. The second one I'm gonna have is, is gonna be like kind of this profile. It'll kind of be like this, but you know, just. So that's the second one. I'll probably upload that to uh, Patreon so they can see what they're about. Uh, you guys will see it in the next video or on Instagram. Okay. But if you don't want comps, guess what? You guys can put on, you know, tracers or whatever. That's why I think uh, it's a must that you guys buy the, comp, uh, the thread adapter. So thread adapter, inner barrel, blocking. Okay. Doesn't that look cool? Even with this, it looks sick. Just, it's a cool looking gun. Oh, I know people will ask. Yes, it does. I don't know if you guys can tell. It doesn't, this this guy is heavy. He's about, I probably say, I, I remember correctly, he's like 75. 76, 78 grams. I wouldn't want something this heavy on here. I would want you guys should run the um, the Cortex or the Ace Tech Mini one. Any trying to get under 50. Um, that's why you know. That's why I 3D print comps because they weigh nothing. But this you should be able to see there is uh, drag. Okay. But still functions. I will shoot it with this guy. So we have. Three O's. We'll see what our FPS increase is. Uh, we shot with, I think we shot with two O's in the last video. All right, let me change the two O guys. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we shot with two O's. Okay, let's put these guys back. got two O's right here. These are in metal tack two O's. We should go up in, in FPS, all right? Uh, that's for sure. Let me take this off. Wow. <laughs> we're cornering through a corner. <laughs> this is the inception. That sounded like we were low on gas. Yep, all right, we're out of gas. Oh boy. I think this is that I think this is empty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If it's empty, the only one I have left is this red one, which is not gonna be fair because you know the 3.0 is stronger than the puff. Alright. Let's turn it on and off. But this is pretty. You guys should be able to see that. <laughs> All right, boys, we're out. All right, you guys want to see it? We'll see it on three. Oh, uh, three point All right. I bought this for. Um, we're testing a gun for a customer, so we, he uses 3.0, so we need it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have that, and then we also have the uh, <laughs> the 4.0, which is <laughs> you know it's gonna be super strong. Let's get a couple more shots. Uh, you saw the first shot was 322, so. In theory, this should be much higher now. All right, <laughs> 3.0. .0. Oh, oh my. I, I thought this is going to blow up. Holy shit.
Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but the, the red is just, oh my god, do not use, I would never play consistently with red all the time. Jesus. Wow, you can just spill it. Okay, um, we'll see what we do next with the Hudson, alright? Uh, I don't even know what to call this video. I'm actually confused. I don't even know if this video does any justice or anything, but I, I just wanted to update you guys and continue with it. Because I think it's a great gun. I think it's fun to shoot. Is it a gun that um, you should buy if you're if this is your first gun? Hell no. <laughs> okay, don't get that twisted. That, uh, if anything, I want you guys to take away if you're a beginner. Never, if you are a beginner and you're gonna get into pistols and you know for a fact that you love pistols, Never ever buy a gun. I don't care if you like it or if it's your favorite gun in the world. You buy that later. You will always want to buy, guys, a gun that has a lot of support, is easy or aftermarket or a lot of text for it. So that's going to put you in the high capper realm. It's, I, I know it's not for everybody. And not to put, you know, honest, guys, my favorite gun is a Tokyo Mori Desert Eagle or just Desert Eagle in general. But if you're beginning start with the high kappa then branch out so why ever recommend this for a new beginner no i recommend this for someone that is uh financially fine you like pistols you just want to try something different hell yeah it's fun it shoots great um well uh i need to i have to figure out how to get a shooting video for you guys i feel like there would just be a short video like, I don't have any issues shooting this guy. It's relatively easy, but at the same time, I'm not skirmishing. So that's where people would counter. I mean, I would uh, accept that. I am able to nail my targets out there before switching to this barrel. So I'm going to see how it shoots with this barrel now. Okay, and it's longer inner barrel, TNT APSX system barrel. And I'm going to see how that works. And I might make a shim for this as well. It won't fit. I, you can't fit an I key in here. So you need to, it needs to be like half the size of an I key. So... 3D print trigger maybe, 3D print I key, or I'll call it a H key because it's Hudson. So Hudson key, trigger, or modify a trigger, 3D print this guy. Maybe uh, replace the rear sight. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'll ask Patreon as well. I, I, I have like a list of videos I want to do for the Hudson, so I need to go review that. I didn't review, I literally just, went back to the Hudson wanted to talk about it and get, uh, get a video out there to kind of I'm trying to get back into the rhythm uh, we have a couple of items that I want to review and I picked up some stuff while it's gone too uh, I think these are slept on all right these uh, this one just came out earlier and I've been waiting on this guy to come out I've had my eyes on this guy for a while so this will be a separate video and then we also have a video on the infinity formula so we got some, I got some videos lined up. I got some products that I was buying outside when I was still, when I was healing up and still working on that. All right, good seeing you guys. I miss you guys and I appreciate all the support as usual. Um, if I have any other questions, no, I'll probably just, I'll talk about it in another video. Okay, take it easy guys.